Welcome, folks, to downtown Atlanta and Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of this year's Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl and, of course, part of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before the national championship game. We'll find out here today which side has the toughness and the depth to keep driving toward that ultimate goal, the chance to raise that gold trophy over their heads. As we'll see the number six seed in this playoff, the Miami Hurricanes taking on the number two seed in the playoff, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Free day sports college football. I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? The kickoff team is out there, and here we go with this playoff semifinal game. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the returner will be brought down. So the Ohio State Buckeyes offense begins this game backed up. That was not a good return. Of course, this game in Atlanta, I think, is the mecca of college football. And over the years here in the Peach Bowl, we've seen underdog teams like UCF and Houston really come in here and make their own piece of history. And Chris, think about it. The Peach Bowl, kind of like the Cotton Bowl, has been a major winner in this playoff expansion. They put on a great game, and they've already had some memorable moments. Who could forget in 2022, the field goal in the game that potentially wins it for Ohio State was kicked in 2022 and wide left and hits the ground in the year 2023. Well, nearly an interception here on the opening drive. It's going to bring up third down instead. Quarterback escapes the pocket. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. The Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. He's on to boot it away now. Brought down, sets up the next drive. The Hurricanes offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. First down here for this offense. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Quick completion to the tight end. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Now it's second down here. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Gets past the tackler into open space now. And they're finally able to stop him. But great execution on the screen pass. Fooled the defense there. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Caught behind the line. It's Brown. The ball is loose. Looks like the defense has it. And he breaks loose down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Buckeyes. A fumble return for six. How about that for this defense? I don't know about you. I might move this guy over to the offensive side. This guy picks up this fumble and shows you not only speed, but what to do with the football. Takes it all the way back for a touchdown. BAT is good, so it's 7-0. Kickoff teams on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and will bring the football to the 25-yard line. And the Miami offense is back on the field. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Defense is coming after him. Cannot escape, and down he goes. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. Graham down the middle. It's Fletcher. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. The Hurricanes will bring their punt team on the field now. So I'm going to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Choosing to return the punt. 
And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. To throw, it's Saiyan. Trying to extend the play. Oh, can you believe it? He dropped the ball. You don't see that often with this excellent receiver. He's going to bring up second down. Keeping it on the ground here. The gain is eight yards, so it sets up a third and two. Chris, the defense dials up the blitz. They're unable to get into the backfield, giving the running back enough room. I'll tell you, the linebacker makes a great play just to come up with a tackle here. A tackle and behind the line, a loss of four. Buckeyes will have to punt this one away. They're going to kick it away for the second time. Fair catch made at the 15-yard line. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Fights through the tackler. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. That's another sack for this defense, Chris. If I'm not mistaken, they've had a lot of pressures. I think that's their second sack of this game. And this defense has a lot to do with why they have this nice lead here early in the game. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the football there on third down. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. But he's got some space here. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain in the return. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this run? And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Second down after that run on the previous play. Scanning the field. It's Saiyan. Catch made on the right side. Finding some room with the 25. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. First and 10 play coming up. Finds his man. It's Graham. Brought down at the seven. But the completion moves him closer to the goal line. The Buckeyes come to the line with first and goal. And the quarterback dropping back. He's running out of time here. And that's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Offense facing second and goal. Looks to the left, and it's complete. Brought down at the two after the catch. The offense close to punching it in. Set up now with the two-yard line. And they score here on a third down play. They pressure him and get him the loss back to the seven-yard line. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. Knocks that one right down the middle. And they add to their lead. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. Looking to put together a positive drive here. They'll run it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. After a first down loss, it's second and long from the 23. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Snags the quick throw. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle. It's Horton. And it works. The first down to the 35. Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kirk. We've reached the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. So here we go. First play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. Ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Get 
quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. The pocket breaking down. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. And the Canes will have to kick it away. And here's the return. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. To the whole place right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. Looking to pass. It's Saiyan. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. He pulls it in for a big game. Tackle is finally made, but it's down at the 28-yard line. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue. And the pass rush has got him again. Back to back sacks. And sacks sets up an important third down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. On the run, going to heave it downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. The defense better regroup after that big gainer. It's first and goal just outside the five. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Ohio State. So the offense clicking now for building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just complete domination. The offense is executing and doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. The last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? Grab down the middle. It's Arroyo. They're finally able to stop him. The quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, Chris, this is going to set up a big third down now for this offense. They're down early in the game with all the hype and the pressure on a playoff game. You don't want to dig yourselves too big of a hole. they got to keep this drive alive, so they need to convert right here. They bring him down, but the freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. The Canes lining up here on first and ten. Here's the snap, looking to throw. The sure hands. It's Arroyo. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. The completion makes it second and short. Makes a quick grab. He stopped, but he gets a first down. You see more and more offenses in college football going with three receivers. And the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of it. Caught over the middle. It's Joseph. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Handoff here from the shotgun. He'll earn the first down, but pay for it with a hard hit. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Play action here on first down. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, that one's picked off. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Empty set now, five wide receivers. Dropping back, it's Saiyan. Looking to scramble. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. That's a big gain before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Hey, guys up front lined up. It's first down. On the run here. Let's it go. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Getting set. Here's second down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And that pass rush has trapped him. It's a sack. 
And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Goes to his right side there for the completion. They tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. The what guys hustle to the line to run the hurry up. On first and ten, looking to throw. With the catch, it's Smith. Even surrounds it. Just a short gain on that completion. Offense operating at high tempo now. No huddle. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Intercepted. Picked off by the defense. He's got some room and some blockers here. And that's a solid return after the interception. Well, a mistake by the quarterback of putting that up in the air, but a great play by the free safety. You know, you sit back and cover three. The center fielder is the free safety. He's got his eyes on the quarterback, and when that ball is released, he's got to show an athletic ability to be able to go find the football and come down with it for an interception. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. He fires this throw and is intercepted. Now look at the return after the interception. It sets the offense up in good shape. How's this for starting field position? First and goal from the two. Looking downfield, it's Sand. He's moving out of the pocket. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. That is great job here by this offense, taking advantage of a... Hold on a second. The replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play. Well, they took a look just to confirm it, but it looks like they got it right on the field. After the review, the play will stand. And now they'll set up for the point after. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Turner trying to create good field position. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Miami offense is back on the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Offense getting set. It's second down. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Offense tops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. A completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Second down after that previous play. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. Fires it to the wideout. And he's got it. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. The Hurricanes begin a new series here, first and ten. They snap it, quarterback looking to throw the ball. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. So it's third down, but out comes the field goal unit. They'll try to add three points before halftime. Long enough and good. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. The turn begins inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Looks like one more play here before halftime. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And he'll be brought down, and that will wrap up the first half of play. Buckeyes will kick this away to start the second half. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. 
And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. Movement here from the tight end. They start the drive with a quick throw to the left side. Breaks loose at the 45. That's a big hit at the end, but they earned a fresh set of downs. Game moves the ball right near midfield. It'll be first down. Pre snap motion from the receiver. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Pass not complete. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Looking to throw again. Pressure is coming. Grab down the middle. It's Arroyo. The completion gains about six yards, but now it's a fourth down call. The Kings will bring their punt team onto the field. Ball lands at the eight and bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Off the play fake on first down. Gets rid of it on the move. Caught over the middle. It's Tate. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Second down play coming up. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Jet sweep receiver trying to find some room. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. It's a strong run, keeps the drive going. First down now. To throw, it's Saiyan. Caught for the completion. And heads out of bounds after a decent gain. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? And he'll set up to throw. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Slides down to avoid the tackle. I really like this call by this offense on second and short. Looking to maybe take a shot downfield. Nobody is open, so instead, he's able to just tuck it, run, and pick up a nice first down. The pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. Throwing again on second and 10. And it's going to be incomplete defense and a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. And the receivers got it. Finds room at the 30. An explosive play. They finally grab him, but the ball moves inside the 25. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw a good pass rush there on first down. Here's the second down play. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. And throwing again on second and ten. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the beatdown continues. Now just a brilliant game from this quarterback. With a spot in the natty on the line, you need your guy to step up, and this guy has delivered so far today. You know, it's just everything coming together. The preparation that he put in leading into this game, the offense doing their job of taking care of him, receivers running good routes. Everything right now is clicking for this offense and this quarterback. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And that pass ball is incomplete. Butter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Caught way downfield for a huge gain. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. 
Touchdown for the U. Strong game by this quarterback. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Fields it inside the five-yard line. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved him right down the field. And the defense make adjustments. Using his legs here, he'll avoid the big hit with the slide. An empty backfield on second and short. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense. The freshman's able to get home with a sack. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I do not want to see the game fit. This has been a tough game for the big boys. It appears almost like they've just been moonwalking the entire game, and they've been pushed all around. That's six sacks surrendered already in this game. So first play of the drive coming here. They'll start at their own 49. He hands it off from the gun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Important second down play coming up. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Makes a quick catch. Tackled pretty quickly, but that is a decent gain on the throw. That completion makes it second in medium. They'll keep it on the ground with the counter play. Finding space at the 20. Tough running there. And he's run out after a big game. The offense has been set up with a first down and goal. The Hurricanes pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And they'll get him down that time. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Looks toward the sideline, finds the running back. And the defense swarms him. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Well, Kirk, Ohio State has the lead here after one. With three quarters in the books, with a chance to stay alive in the playoff at stake. Let's take a quick look at the stats so far. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. Looking to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. Man, that is a tough one not to hang on to on third down and goal, but a good job by the defense to get there and knock it loose. Quarterback drops back. Looking for six. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Back's got it again. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Stop short of the marker after just a short game. 
be on third and long now from the 44. And the wideout goes in motion. On third down, he drops to throw. Caught near the sticks, and Smith run down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. The Buckeyes getting set on first and 10. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Second down play coming up for this offense. The shotgun running play call. And tackled after a small pickup there. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Grab near the sticks. It's Graham. Tackled at the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Here's the handoff. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. The Buckeyes looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Grab behind the line. It's Graham. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. How about that play call here, Chris? I mean, I'm thinking they're going to run the football and continue to work this clock. This gives you an idea how much confidence they have in their passing game and this quarterback being able to throw the football with the lead in the fourth quarter, completion, and you're able to keep that clock moving. It's a second and goal play for the offense. Hand off to the back, and they'll keep the clock moving. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Ball sits at the two-yard line for third and goal. Looking downfield, it's Saiyan. He's moving out of the pocket. He'll throw it now. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Buckeyes will come to the line, looking to keep the drive going on fourth down. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. As incomplete, he was hit as he threw. Great defensive play on fourth down. So it's first and ten inside the five. How does the coaching staff play this? So they won the ball to get some breathing room, or will they trust the QB and be more aggressive here? Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Second down here, time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. They've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. Look at a pass here on second down. They give the running back a touch in the pass game. Catch made over the middle. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. From the shotgun, drops back. Grab down the middle. It's Arroyo. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management is going to be very important here in the final minutes. Second down, we're going to throw it. The pass rush closing in. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think the one thing about this is you wonder where you... There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. That's the mark of a well-coached team. These guys don't even pay attention to the score. They're just out there executing and churning up yards. Good, solid run there. As this clock continues to wind down, this offense has had a great day. Picks up a short game, but is swarmed with the defense flying to the football. 
Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Big throw caught on the left side. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. He made good on his first attempt, but this one is from 47 yards away. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. That's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this, to get to the national championship, that says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically, and they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.